Greetings, dental viewers! And howdy, howdy! And so we return to our puzzly solving thing after a whole bunch of really awesome scenes. So we still got a couple other places to go, and we don't really know entirely how to solve this thing. Eh, it doesn't matter, we'll figure it out. It's probably in one of the hardest to get to places. That only makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. Speaking of being hard to get, <laughs> we're the Bittersweet Gamers. I'm the Opinionator. And I'm thick. No, really, I'm thick. I am also, however, on a bunch of cold medication. So if I don't do good or say something stupid, that's what I'm blaming. You're preemptively blaming a bad performance on acetaminophen? Yes. How does that work? We'll find out. Okay. And we're off. No, really, cut us some slack this time. I'll blame Billy too. I'm literally suffering all for you. If you don't appreciate it, don't cry. There, there, Billy. It, it, it's okay. Billy's suffering aside, last time we primarily just soaked in all the really freaking awesome scenes and character resolution, and it was really good. Oh, yeah. And mainly we just cheered about it. Since we're the bittersweet gamers, though, that means what we really need to do is stop and have a chat for 30 minutes about some meaningless topic. So I figure we'd better get on that. Woo! Make up for lost time. <laughs> no, uh, seriously, I do want to address something about Kotoko. Not the character herself, but rather, apparently a lot of people really have a problem with the way that the big Kotoko section turned out. Treated really irreverently with lots of silliness and zaniness and inappropriate stripping and like, no, really, I'm 18. This is the opposite of child porn, so it's A-OK -okay to put in a video game, right? Uh, apparently, there's a general perception that that's not treated with the seriousness that it deserves. And I thought I'd actually say something about that. Hmm. This is Danganronpa. <laughs> a lot of really serious things are treated with silliness, zaniness, and irreverence. Yeah. What's really different about that compared to some of the other stuff we've seen. But more importantly, it seems to me that those scenes with Kotoko, although they were really funny, we were laughing and going, what is going on the whole time, they came off to me as really sad. Like showing a tortured little girl's cry for help. Much like going psychopath rage monkey as a way to cope with abuse and torture and that sort of thing. Yeah, deep grief and suffering. Uh, so too is like flippancy, you mm -hmm. know? Uh, in the real world, as, as I understand it anyway, like from reading about it, a lot of sexual abuse survivors do have a really flippant, casual way of looking on what happened to them. That too is an unhealthy coping mechanism to just take it really lightly and act like none of it matters. Mm -hmm. I'm also the kind of person who's prone to laughing and making light of serious things that bother me. Before we got Kotoko's background, I really despised her because I just don't like that type of personality. But once you get to understand why she's like that, and, and even just see her on screen some more, you'll notice that all that antipathy hmm. that I specifically had towards her just vanished. And instead, both Billy and I were like, no, no, she has to be saved. Yeah. We have to save her. She's the victim here. Those scenes were supposed to convey that. Yeah. Communicating suffering through laughter, like the sad clown kind of thing. <laughs> In all honesty, I thought that associating one of the Warriors of Hope with a constant stream of jokes and gags actually helped differentiate our opinion. Yeah. Like, the way... And not only did it make them each stand out from each other more, but it also changed how we, the viewer, perceived them and reacted to them. Right, and I think that was a good way to ease us into rooting for her to be saved. Yeah. Anyway, enough of that. So while we're working on this chess puzzle, look what we found! A collectible we missed! Go us! Go car! Vroom! Car goes vroom! <laughs> it's okay, Billy. It's okay. <laughs> You're sick. Gross butler it's Aloysius 
Pennyworth. Of course, his name is Pennyworth. Yakuya does have someone in his life that he cares about, and, hey? And he looks just about how I expected him to. An annoying old demon that was the butler for the Togami family. It has this super creepy voice that always goes, Welcome home, <laughs> young master. Also, it has a weird special ability that makes its attack power go up when the young master Togami Byakuya gets made fun of. So make sure you're extra careful. I just want to point out, they forgot to reverse the name order so that it's last name first, first name last. <laughs> oh, no, really, I've never freaking understood that. Oh my gosh. I just don't understand what's wrong with original name order. People can comprehend that it's different in different languages. <laughs> there, there, David. I forgive you, Billy. You're sick. Thank you? There are more of these awful guys. Get him, get him! Had to get within range. Yeah, I don't know why they tried to say that burn is good on this stuff. <laughs> Clearly, just beating them up is good. Well, I mean, by that token, beating them up is good against anything, right? Well, like, they're really fast, and you just want to stop their movement, and they're also really dangerous at attacking. So you want to stop their movement and stop them from attacking, and burn isn't going to stop anybody. And... Will you please stop? The war between Despair and Toa is near? Ah, uh, propaganda. <laughs> it has been rumored that a full-on war between the Ultimate Despairs and Toa Group, the saviors of the world, is drawing near. Ever since the incident, Toa Group has been everything it can to counteract the Despair. We can't really know what they're thinking, but the Ultimate Despairs didn't attack Toa Group and Toa City. But it's hard to imagine that will be the case forever. This stalemate can't continue. It's only a matter of time until the ultimate despairs show their true colors. Before then, we dearly hope this incident is over. And okay, that wasn't so interesting. <laughs> but it might have been. <laughs> so lingers the ocean. It's Toko's book. Wow! I remember the title did have something to do with ocean. A love that is far too pure for the main character. Me and the fisherman. You, an indubitable foray into inner peace at the skillful stroke of a pen. Popular female author Toko Fukawa's most renowned work, the long-awaited unabridged version. Now let's talk about it. No, I assume it's a real book, not just some fanfic porn or something. <laughs> oh, this is, wow, it really, what? you are an author. That's right, it's my novel. Got a problem with that? No, I think it's really cool. Amazing. See? <laughs> I've read this. It was sad and really good, too. I just never put together that Toko Fukawa <laughs> and Toko Fukawa could be the same person, especially when I found out that she was an author. Wow, you're the writer of So Lingers. Don't mess with me. So Lingers? You're abbreviating the title of the book I wrote to my face? Well, it's easier to say when I reduce the number of syllables. And of course it's really good. Who do you think wrote it? I'm trying to give you a compliment. <laughs> and I'm really trying to take it, but I can't. <laughs> As expected of the ultimate writing prodigy, you sure have confidence. But... I mean, if you can write a beautiful romance <gasps> like this, you can definitely marry Bianca. Are you an idiot? Don't be an idiot, which I just asked if you were. What's written in there is pure fantasy. There's no way I can act like that in reality. Oh, really? Why? <laughs> what I write in my novels is my idea of an ideal world. Because I know it will never be reality, I have to write it in fiction. Hmm? So you write it because you can't have it? But don't most writers write from experience? Like, if you read a fantasy novel, it really was about a person who was transported to a fantasy <laughs> world and killed all these monsters and became king and stuff? What? Nothing. Not necessarily. My theory is that happy people can only write happy, shallow novels. Huh, okay. But the downtrodden can physically imagine their ideal world, perfectly envision true beauty, 
there is a lot to be gained from suffering. That's the truth. It doesn't mean you have to like it, but you do get something out of it. And that's the spirit I put into my novels. Hmm. Well, I, I kind of get that, but I, I kind of don't. Damon, you what? shut up. But based on my theory, I wonder if I can keep writing interesting novels. Hmm? What do you mean? Like I said... I'm concerned! If I have a friend like you and I'm happy... Could it be? So you mean making friends with me made you a little happier and I've ruined your life? <laughs> what? Don't mess with me. No, there's no way a crybaby schoolgirl like you can actually interfere with my writing. Oh, thank goodness. You underestimate the intensity of my novels. Aww. But you said it yourself that you can't write anymore now. <laughs> well, if you're that confident, I'm sure you'll be just fine. <laughs> Very nice. What do we got this time? I need them all to blow. One explosion and we get dance, move, and break. So doesn't that mean the explosion from the third bomber over there has to knock those two guys into the group of jetpack dudes? Yes? So you would dance him to stop his movement until the others are in the right, like where he's at his extreme, and then when the others get into position, then you yes. break him? Yes, I dance him when he goes as far left as he can, and then when they go as far left as they can, I snipe him with break. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if he appeared right here. Was the other one over there? And isn't that too far? No? <laughs> All right, that went way better than I was worried about. That's what I thought. <laughs> Mada Fujiras. Fujiko Yamada. A manga artist demon who made Tara Spa. Before you kill it, make it write lots of manga and put you in a comic book. <laughs> and if it complains, choke it to make it do what you want. It likes to draw naked pictures of boy demons, of course. So give it plenty of bodies to draw. Man, that poor Hifumi. Yeah. Whole family was like that. Or at least his siblings. Okay, that has an X on it, but do we see any L-shaped thing? Hmm. Nose, so much fun. Let's poke them with sticks. Jeez. Could it be? I wonder if those kids were also treated cruelly by their parents. Hmm. Even if they were, would it matter? Even if their parents were murdered, it doesn't give them the right to kill people! You're right. No matter the reason, this is just... it's unforgivable. It's far too suspicious. And, yeah, what she's about to go right. into. They need to address this point. And not just that. It's peculiar. Remember when Nagisa said, well, I may have said too much about the Monokuma children. Right? The I find it hard to believe that unless Toa City built some sort of a-hole parent attractor that just gathered all the a-hole parents in the world together, that all these kids would, would feel the need to murder parents. And furthermore, even if that were the case, they wouldn't all do it. <laughs> right! Nor would they all subsume their individuality by wearing these robo-helmets and never talk. Yeah. I don't doubt the ringleaders had terrible childhoods, but I can't think of any reason for all these other kids to suddenly be motivated to kill. Not all of them like this, and so casually. Uh -huh. Right? So why are the other children going along with this? You're right. I have a bad feeling about this. You should. One day we're going to save these kids, and that's going to be great. But if you were one of these kids, your life is ruined. Mm-hmm. Because even though it wasn't your fault and they and you were under like metal control brainwashing stuff. Some sort of coercion or whatever. You would know that you had a part in this. 
and I mean, I guess you could just not tell all of them, and that that might be okay too. But this no. sort of stuff has a way of staining your soul. Yeah, well, well said. This arcade machine is everywhere, isn't it? More importantly, it's the most out of the way chest. Man, if it's just gonna be that simple, how is that really a puzzle? I, I don't know, we have to look at this chest and if we still can't figure it out, then we're gonna have to actually try. But then we'll have cleared everything out. Well, if it's activities I can get behind, looking at chests is one of them. <laughs> ah, fine arts. If they bunch up near the car, we can defeat them all in one go. Ah, uh, move, dance, and paralyze. But they're not... Ah, there we go. Ah, okay. So we hit that. We hit that. That should lure all them over here. Or at least that one. And then when I hit him with dance, that'll move them. And if I hit move there, that should... Uh... Well, no, you've got to get them. The, like the, the regular Kumas up top over... <gasps> Two. Okay, okay, okay. But that car in front, you have to use to take them out. No, 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 I have to destroy them with electricity. Here's oh, that's true, happens. that's true. So you move that car. I, I hit that with move. That lures the Monokuma looking at it up there. I then move the car. The, yeah, yeah. The, then hit it with dance. That'll attract everyone and then paralyze. Right, but will they all be standing in the water? Well, that's why there's enough water on this side. They don't have to necessarily be standing near the water. They have to be standing next to a monokuma in the water because the electricity arcs in an area around everyone. I, I bet the other car has something to do with it. Damn. So just, just give them a second. Hmm. See, they're running. They should all be on it. Do you mind? Okay, they're they're there. Woo! Yeah! Flexing my brain muscle! Brain so strong! And that says X2. Okay, well, the answer wasn't immediately obvious. So we'll have to see if that brain so strong of yours is strong. Now that we've rechecked all of the chests. So I had the right idea. It has to do with the map. See, that one's an L, that one's a T. They're calling this one an X. That's an L. Well, this one says X, but I guess it should be an L. So that means it's gotta be it, right? Besides, it's the farthest one away. That, that means it's the one, right? Well, if it isn't, I'm blaming you. No, it really was it. Sad face. Your face is sad! That's what you said, though. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> I believe I can handle this riddle myself. All it took was running around the whole map multiple times. Boosh! Well, good, because I wasn't planning on helping anyway. Battle skill! That's it? Eh, you'll never use that. Brain muscle strong! They never end! Go away, I'm sick! The Monokuma Kid has to be hiding here somewhere. Listen for the singing to find the brass. Oh, another one of these, huh? That uh, seems simple enough. Oh, that's, that's well, gonna be a problem. The thing is, is you can't just easily move and hide in various corners. I see. There's gonna be a lot of stopping and waiting, I guess. But like, you have you'll have to be looking, like always looking for the next stinking one, like the next beast kuma that's gonna be walking around. Don't see me. Or they're just blind and stupid, so it doesn't matter. I'm fine with that. Hmm. You're gonna move! <laughs> Thrilling! Okay, I'll have time. I'm gonna go for it. Dude, he's gonna see you! Ah! <laughs> Whoops, that didn't we work! Got ah, okay, I have to take cover <laughs> here. 
That's dangerous. There we go. Gotcha! Ooh. The Monokuma's overheated. Break them all. No mercy. There! It went through flawlessly. Okay, I am so done with running around out there. <laughs> to find the base, we have to find somewhere we can get into the sewer. Uh, all we do in this game is walk through the subway and the sewer trying to go to the base. <laughs> that is, in fact, the whole thing. Hey, Kamaru, before we do that, there's something I want to know. Do you have a flashlight on you? Because I'm scared of the dark. Hmm? What about? Uh, um, you said... I'm... your friend? I did say that. Why do you ask? But I've been thinking it over, and I have to tell you, my number one is still master. Oh, for goodness sake, that's fine! <laughs> um... okay... She's not romantically interested in you, Toko! But something like that... that's no good, right? Thinking you're not as important as someone? <laughs> I actually kind of appreciate that response. For Toko... Perhaps one of the reasons that she doesn't have a friend, kind of by her own logic... I see. ...is because she's not willing to commit to making somebody else the, literally the most important person in her life. In a way, it's like Toko's consideration of other people's feelings. <laughs> like, it's not that she's selfish and ignores others, it's that she thinks about them too much but doesn't know how to relate properly. Yeah, and like, she doesn't feel like she's that they're that she's worth being their friend or something like that. Too much of a commitment? Well, it's fine. I'll shut up and let her explain it. Toko, do you know what friends are? D don't patronize me. It's a relationship where people talk about love and go eat sweets together on weekends, <laughs> become estranged when one of them gets a lover, then they learn to move past it and have a... Well, that's kind of right, but friends are more like... What? Never mind. I don't know. <laughs> what the hell? Talk to me here. Well, I don't think you have to really define it right now. Just act like you normally do. What she was saying is... I can't make you literally the most important person in my life, so you can't be my friend. Nobody can be my friend because it wouldn't be fair to you. Yeah. It's, it's, it's surprisingly sweet. But that's just... It's hard for me to accept it. It doesn't feel real. Am I annoying, Kamaru, the way I am now? Don't I annoy you? I, I couldn't be friends. That's fine. Well, how about this? Can I call you Toki? No. <laughs> Who the hell is that? A character from Fist of the North Star. <laughs> It'll be your nickname. Oh, I... I've never been called by a nickname before. Well, other than insults. Never? Not even as a kid? Well... I hope we get along together, Toki. I mean, she calls her Omaru, you know? <laughs> I've never been called by a nickname either. Really? Yeah. I kind of wanted one when I was younger, but it was too late. <laughs> there wouldn't have been anything that stuck, so that's <laughs> the way it is. But you know what? I hate being called by my last name. Ugh. <laughs> well, technically speaking, Billy is a nickname for William, which is my legally defined name. Well, but William is so stuffy and grown up. Well, isn't it more like a Billy's dark past that is precisely why you go by Billy and not William, Bill, or Will? Yes, but I was trying to make it far less low-key and less interesting than you are. <sighs> what happened, Toki? Are you okay, Toki? <laughs> make her stop. Uh, it's fine. I will, stay <laughs> I will go through this horrible friendship ritual. <laughs> now... Say it again. <laughs> Say it one more time. I will not retreat. Toki? No, 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 it's, it's too much. Never mind. I'm just going to call you Toko again. Yes, thank you. The friendship was far too intense. Yes, the friendship was too intense. Moving on. Oh, Hello, my. person with a pipe? A crowbar. crowbar. 
Yes, I did it! Um... What did you do? Kill one of those children and find out that they're robots? I killed a child and destroyed a Monokuma all by myself! Oh, I was right. I mean, maybe not about the robots. Someone speculated that they could be robots in like a note or something, and maybe they are. We, yeah. We don't know. Well, Toko's pointed out how weird it is that they exist at all like I mean, that. Perhaps it's not that they're brainwashed children with brainwashing helmets, but that they are in fact killer robot replacements and all the kids are being held somewhere. That might be the case. Toa is safe now. There's no need to hide anymore. Uh, you no longer need to worry about your families and friends being killed. You no longer need to see others killed. <laughs> you should all be grateful. Cry in tears of joy that I've saved you all. The only person crying in tears is her. She's completely gone. <laughs> my husband and daughter did die in vain. Thanks to them, I know Monokuma's weakness. Oh, that's awful. At this, I, I'm surprised we haven't seen something like this up until now. Right? Uh, this child that she killed, I would really like to see it though. Their death has been avenged. Aww. I think it's best to just leave her be. You're right. Yeah. Sometimes it's better not to wake up from a dream. Hang in there. I hope she pulls through this. <sighs> Impressive that she took out a Kuma robot. With the crowbar? Yeah. <laughs> I just shoot that guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna take care of him right now. <laughs> Wasn't it a bad idea to do that? Oh. I see. I guess it was. <laughs> well, I thought I was being smart. Billy, not so big brain. Looks like we can't go any further. Let's head back. Aha, uh -huh, I see. The bomb in Cider 3. <laughs> Yumi Kayakuda, the girl with a bomb in her womb, cannot love, and yet she has chosen. I want to fall in love with Shota. Uh, he was the one who bullied her in order to keep her from falling in love with him. Yeah. <laughs> I don't keep all this straight. If I can just fall deeper in love with him, I don't mind if this body of mine burns away. Wh why does she have a bomb in her womb anyway? I, I think in order to accept the uh, appeal of this book, you must also accept that she has a bomb inside her womb. However, a new <laughs> character who has feelings for Yumi appears. Moto Moto Nikaido. Your life isn't only yours. My love is only mine. A charred body of love or a living emotionless doll. Which fate will Yumi choose? The third volume of the fiery love story. This is such drag. Toko. <laughs> hey. Are you the type who's okay with spoilers, especially about something in a genre you openly despise? <laughs> What's going on? What brought this on? Amazing! The third volume of The Bomb is so good! I gotta talk about it, but are you okay with spoilers? I wouldn't want to ruin your experience. Me. Okay, how many times do I have to tell you? I have no interest in manga at all! So Yoko, the girl from the second <laughs> volume, tries to stop... Yumi, not Yume, because I'm paying attention from giving into despair, and she says this, oh, it's so beautiful. I don't care, I don't care, I don't care! Aww. I'm, I'm tearing up just remembering it. Oh, Yumi, <laughs> Yoko, I'm so happy for you! They spelled it right that time. <laughs> hey, Komaru, come back to reality! No, you don't understand how good it is! Hey, did you... He stopped calling me Omaru. Uh, oh, did I? You're you're probably just mistaken. Huh? Toko! I heard right. I tried to call you Toki, and you knew that, and tried to call me by my name, right? What? Got a problem with that? You think I'm too gloomy to have a character arc? I'm pretty sure that we've uh, already established <laughs> that she is not. No. It just makes me really happy. Thanks, Toki. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, sorry, that slipped out on accident. I'll only use that to make you suffer when it would really be appropriate. You're doing it on purpose, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> it looks like another present. A bullet to interact with that Monokuma that we have to blow up near the cracks. Well, the only one left is the one that takes control of them. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I like how that was the very first thing we tried to use when we saw everything. <laughs> well, it was rainbow colored. <laughs> Link. So now we need to figure out how to make them attack. Link. Now we know how to release it. Try to like do something. Ah, it's the usual attack button. Can you charge it? Can I hold it down? Nope. Yeah. Okay, why don't you just walk up to the darn thing? Yeah. Hey! Why, why don't you walk up to it? <laughs> why don't you move the camera? And now I can destroy him! Uh, why don't you link with him one more time? I understand you can destroy him. <laughs> okay, now don't do anything. Look down there. You see we get the controls? Ah, I so see. So there might be something to that. Like, try and run with him. This way we understand how to do it instead of go the entire game without realizing that Jill has a charge attack. I don't know what you're talking Until about. Until Damon holds the controller and is like, what happens if you do this? I don't know what you're talking okay, about. Get, get back over there. We know what we have to do. But the idea was to, like, make sure we understand. <laughs> but no, I guess you don't know what we're talking about. Yeah. We can move on. Everything comes in handy if you use it right. Even a Monokuma. I suppose that woman with the crowbar, there was no wreckage around her. Maybe she didn't do anything at all and was just dreaming that she succeeded. Oh. Uh. Thank you for everything you've done. If you're reading this, it means I'm already dead. I am really, really grateful to you. When I was sad or rotting away at work, you always supported me. If you weren't around, I couldn't even stand up straight. Because I was with you my entire life up until now, all the way until now, it felt like it meant something. I'm grateful to you for supporting me without any complaints. But even so, why? Why did you leave me behind? Why did you desert me in a place like this? Someone like me, who can't even stand on his own. Who can't even walk on his own. Oh, that's awful. And so despite everything else... He was left behind. Everything that had been done up his whole life. <sighs> We've gotta almost be done with the chapter by now, right? It... That does seem to be how the kids have been spaced out so far. The first time you were inside me, I was fine, but now I'm starting to get all loose. Jeez, you're a dirty sock. Especially after Kotoko. <laughs> Is this really appropriate? <laughs> really? The world would be better if all the socks were destroyed, eh? I can't say that. If you're wearing shoes, you have to wear socks. It's terrible if you don't. But that is the only purpose they serve. Destroy the other ones. <laughs> Better yet, why not just start making shoes that already have the sock built in? Oh. No, that'd be a terrible idea now that I think of it. Quit being impressed by bad ideas. Oh. There's no way this ceiling is going to collapse. Right? Don't phrase it like There's that. There's no way they'd use the <laughs> same tired plot device <laughs> twice. I won't allow it. <laughs> As an author. Aha! Mm, one plus one equals seven. Wait, how many? <laughs> what made you jump to seven? <laughs> Wait. The downside is, is even if you walk in... Oh, yeah, like this. You killed him. Ahem. I... Huh. Mm. That's problematic. Well, there's your one plus one equals seven. <laughs> no, hold on, I get approached from the other side. But did... Why did that happen? You rat! 
Well, anyway, that reset him for some reason. I don't think you can actually blow up the wall. So you're throwing it on the other side? Maybe? Let's try this angle. Yeah, I think you're just gonna have to kill it, not throw grenades. Wait a minute. Okay, I think I understand. One second. Unless we can knock back through the wall, what do you got? I'll show you. Why, it's simple, David. Do you see that opening right there? Yay! Hmm. Why don't you link him, walk him over there, and then unlink and run around and shoot him? Ah, there we go. Just run him over and stand him there. Wait. There we go. No reason to make it complicated. There's every reason to make it complicated. It's more entertaining for the viewers. That's my excuse that I'm sticking with it. Ah, uh, to appear stupid and foolish. That is the destiny of all YouTubers. <laughs> Therein lies the true power of the Billy Big Brain. <laughs> Woo! There, now can you actually aim? I refuse to answer. I will let the results speak for themselves, for good or for ill. We're undoubtedly gonna have to use Link, and we'll pro- or maybe not. <laughs> and we'll probably get a tutorial about what happens if you link something interesting? That's my prediction. If it is not that, then the game is stupid. Do you think they will gather around the part of the wall that's gonna collapse? can use dance and link and break. Okay, uh, mm hmm. You gotta run him all the way over here, hit him with dance. That should alert everyone to him. And if they're close enough, I can destroy the bomber Monokuma and the explosion should take them out? Don't you need to move both the bomber and the siren? Wouldn't he follow to where the siren is automatically? That's too far away, isn't it? I don't actually know. Please. Try an attack, by the way. I didn't mean attack something in particular. I, I just meant attack to see what it does. Whoa. Hooray! That was closer than any of us would have liked. <laughs> hey! Close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, which, as it turns out, were involved. Hand grenades, not horseshoes. Isn't it just going to get darker if we keep going? Is it really going to be okay? It'll be fine, Toko. We've been through this how many times now? Memoirs of an adult in the resistance. Just as I thought, Haiji was right. There's a difference between courage and recklessness, just like BSG said. My right leg got broken. My friends got killed. I was just a reckless, incompetent person. I wasn't even sent to start a fight, but just to go scouting. I hate them. I hate those brats. From the bottom of my heart, I want to kill them. I want to fucking kill them all. Is that sentiment perhaps not what the goal is? To get the parents to want mm. to kill the children? Hmm, I see. Not just for the kids to go against them. Especially if the children are dolls and not children. I don't know. I They could be, they might not be. I think it would be interesting and poignant with interesting ramifications either way. But especially if they are dolls, then making the adults want to murder the children, there's the plan, right? There's the end of the future of humanity. I would seriously fucking pay to see them die. I want to crush their little beating hearts with my bare hands. I want to pulverize their skulls into dust even if it takes years off of my life. I hate them, I hate them, I hate them. I want to kill them so badly. All I can do is just sit here and cry. This looks suspicious. That looks really suspicious. Is there something around here we have to blow up? Maybe the top of that train? No, just go save. Okay. Ah. Maybe we do have to blow him up by a train. 
I noticed that the map doesn't show an entryway. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You get the guy down there. Ah, well, you can just walk in there, but still, we should use Link for scouting. Police! Sprint, man, sprint! Look around! All right. Nothing? Nothing? Well, start wreaking havoc. Yeah! No, no, you should have kept going so you could kill it. Oh, I thought he was dead. No, 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 no. You always think the enemies die in one hit. Keep, yeah! keep going. Just keep throwing them. Just don't stop. Well, I gotta aim. <sighs> <laughs> I see that uh, someone is concerned about Leon, who possibly may be their big brother. Not necessarily. It could just be, you know, Oni-chan. Yeah, I'd say it's about a 30% chance, you're right. Mm-hmm. Oh, they did stop eventually. Well, eventually they're gonna run out of paper. I think I need him to blow up that. Like maybe there'll be something underneath it. Uh, give it a shot. He came back. We don't really need to do that, right? Wouldn't you just need to knock back because grenades don't blow up anything? You know, like you get behind him, you shoot him. If that does something, then launches him out into non-existence. What the heck? All right then. Reveal your secrets! Well, this is new. How dangerous. Isn't that floor over there about to collapse? Do we want that or need that? Uh, I don't know what I accomplished, but I accomplished something. It's another arcade machine room. You know, after a point, they're going to have to stop being so surprised by these. Maybe this is what we needed it for. Poor. Maybe you can break it with an explosion? Oh! Maybe it was even just to show us that, so we can use Link and Break. And I guess that's the point where we need to break it? Oh, yeah, we, we just to have kill to... him next to the floor. Well, it just says destroy the floor, and so that's all we need to do. Yeah. Okay, well, the thing is, is we're not... Where are we going to come out? Because I don't think we're going to be able to break him. I think we're going to have to kill him with one of the other linked Kumas. See? Yeah. Because okay. you can't walk onto the floor. So you walk a dude up there, then you link somebody else. And then kill him. Yeah. Maybe you have to start a chain explosion by controlling something? See, we can hit two of them. So we have to link the two of them. Hmm. Yeah, just stand right in front of the no bears allowed. Now you link the closer guy so you got more time with him. Sprint up, not point blank, but you sprint up to him. You gotta put him in the center of the screen to get a better idea of how to hit him. And then you gotta throw. Over and over again. Okay, you gotta back up, that's fine. Okay, you gotta further back. You, you gotta back up more. You gotta, you gotta back up more. Oh, no, You're okay, not backing what, up at all. I see what they're trying to do here. While I had control of him, it looked like I kept overshooting him no matter how far back I got. I think what we're supposed to do... I mean, you never got that far back, though. You basically I, just hovered around in the same range. I think what we're supposed to do is line him up in such a way that when I destroy one, he explodes, knocks another one forward. Look on the floor. Underneath each of them, there is a little cracked spot on the ground. So you get what the other one on the cracked spot? And then I kill him, and that should be the perfect yeah. distance for chain reaction-ing. Okay, that's neat and all, but why wouldn't throwing grenades at one work? <laughs> I don't know! <laughs> well, the floor collapsed, not the ceiling. It wasn't the same plot wow, point. that's amazing! <laughs> You're awfully excited by all that destruction. You're actually a terrifying woman deep down. Maybe it's because I've been playing a lot of Dark Souls recently, but now I kind of want to climb down the rails. No! Toko, look! 
Looks like we can get down now. Oh, you were right. <laughs> wow, that sure was an impressive show for a virgin. What? What does that have to do with anything? If she weren't, would that have made it more impressive or less impressive? I don't know, man. Who could track her thought processes? Come on. <laughs> if we go down this ladder, we can get down to the sewers. I don't think you understand how architecture in a city works. Yeah, but do you really intend to go back to those guys? We're fugitives, you know? If we go back there, we'll be captured with no questions asked. Well, maybe, but maybe not. Which one is it? If we explain ourselves, I'm sure they'll understand. They've never really tried talking. Yeah. All that's happened is Toa just antagonizes the crap. Toko <laughs> just antagonizes the crap out of them. We have the same goal. We all want to stop those out of control kids, right? And if it's for that cause, I bet they'll lend us a hand. And they'll rescue Biakia too. Wow. You've changed quite a bit. Well, that's the whole point of going on a journey like this. You really think those spineless cowards are going to risk it and cooperate with us? It will be fine. I'm more of a coward than they are, but I'm still doing my best. Well, if you say so, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, after all, we're friends. <laughs> you look really scary when you say that. <laughs> what do you mean I'm scary? Fine. Be that way. Let's just hurry up and get over there. Hey, wait, Togo! I was just kidding! Let's make a deal. I'll never call you Toki again, and you never call me your friend again, okay? <laughs> We're still friends. I just don't want you to call me that. <laughs> oh, goody. Has he been punished? You fooled us from the very beginning. It's no use acting like you don't know. I heard it all. Now, when when Nagisa says fooled us, what actually does he mean by that? Didn't he really just fool Nagisa? Yeah, basically. <clears throat> well, that was kind wrong. <laughs> you were lying to us the whole time. Did you did you do it a few more times? Breaking up or something? Why do that when there's plenty of other shit to break? Like cookies, glassware, the window at that girl you like's house. More than plenty, damn it! Uh, my only question is why would you break cookies? Sh shut up! We swore to make this town into a paradise. We promised that we'd change history! And this guy interfered! Changing history? I don't know. You seem pretty hysterical enough to me. <laughs> I mean, what the hell's with you, Nagisa? What's up your ass? You know what? Actually, don't answer that. I want to keep the ratings down. Uh. <laughs> yes, truly, your wit has never been equal. Surpassed often, but never equal. <laughs> Didn't I tell you to shut up? Ah, Ugaro. <laughs> That's a good noise. <laughs> Very satisfying. Oh, so scary. And what are you going to do about me? Maybe draw on my face or slice my knees? Well, too late, buddy. This is your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. It's your fault. <sighs> now he's snapped. It's easier to blame others than to recognize that you've been deceived. Especially deceived by something you valued so much. Yeah. It's all your fault! After all, Nagito was the one who understood exactly what Monica wanted. Nagisa wasn't. Mm -hmm. He wanted everybody to think the same way he did, but he was the only person who thought that way. The only person that we ever saw express a lot of attachment to the others was Nagisa. Kotoko yeah. to a lesser degree but really just them. Whereas every scene with Nagisa was expressing his attachment 
even his own backstory is littered with the with him discussing his the own, other warriors. The other warriors of hope, yeah. So. Don't be mad, Nagisa. The one who sent Mr. Servant on his task was me. Of uh -huh. course she's working with him. Huh? M Monica! What did you say? I'm glad we're not seeing Kotoko hanging around here. I really hope she didn't come back to base. Ahem. Like I said, I was the one who asked Mr. Servant to help me. What did you tell him to do? I asked him to bring Miss Kamara Nagi all the way back here. You're lying, right? This is some kind of joke, right? Sorry, it's the truth. Lies? Why? Why would you do something like that? Oh, that's too bad. No matter how smart you might be, you still don't understand it, huh? But I guess that's to be expected. I never gave you a proper explanation. Explanation? What are you talking about? What needs explaining? We're going to make a paradise, right? And... And that's why we caused this revolution, right? You're the only person who ever said that, yo. Yeah. Sorry, Monica doesn't care about paradise or anything like that. Oh, what a shocker! What? Oh, I guess you can say that the paradise I want and the one you want are different things. I have no interest whatsoever in the paradise where kids can live peacefully. Stop kidding around, Monica! What the heck is this? Sorry, but this is all for the sake of the successor to Junko and Oshima. Huh? Successor? Yes, the second generation of Big Sis Junko. That's what I'm after. Sounds utterly meaningless, just like everything <laughs> Junko said, so it checks out. <laughs> My name is different from Mr. Servant's. Well, we agreed to work together at the beginning. So don't get so jealous, Nagisa. I don't understand. What are you talking about, Monica? It's fine, it's fine. You just have to keep doing your best for my sake. Don't worry about using your little brain on your own. Just do what Monica wants. Right? For Monica's sake. <sighs> huh? Well, hopefully this time it won't work. Uh, oh. I bet she's been keeping this one in her back pocket for some time. As long as you still have something you can use to escalate your means of control, you can always just get him back, right? Uh. Well, here's hoping it doesn't work. Mm. <laughs> I totally stole Nagisa's first kiss! What are you doing? You love Monica, right? You can't live without Monica, right? You love me so much. Sometimes you even have perverted thoughts about me, right? Stop! Please, stop! Hmm. You're glad you got to kiss Monica, right? You better be. If you work hard, I can do other things too, you know. <sighs> Oh, further showing just how wonderfully adjusted they all are. So you'll listen to Monica's little request, right? Don't come near me! Get away from me! Run, Nagisa! You have such a hard time. Everyone has high expectations of you because you're so smart. Nagisa's fear response is the right one. And you even have high expectations for yourself. And you're always suffering from that, right? I said, don't come near me! Whoa! Whoa, but dude. Monica won't expect anything of you. Wow. <gasps> that really <gasps> rose my opinion of Nagisa quite a bit. Uh-huh. What? From the very start, I never expected anything of you. That's why I kept the successor a secret. She never expected anything of anybody else either. Never mind that this is kind of like Nagisa's trigger word, like some of the other characters, mm -hmm. all the other characters have yeah. had. 
it doesn't feel so good to have people around you have no expectations of you, does it? After all, you're just a weak, weak little child. No one expects anything from Ugh. I said get back! Maybe nobody ever expected anything of you in the first place. You probably just thought they did. Good lord! No, 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 no. That, that isn't true, but it's the sort of thing that make, that will actually drive Nagis are crazy. After all, none of it ever meant anything if nobody expected anything of him. Never mind the fact he was crushed and crippled by those expectations. He had to have them because with th that was the foundation of his entire self. Mm -hmm. Also, the longer I keep talking, <laughs> the more Monica gets hit, and that causes me great pleasure because she is horrible and I hate her. That's effed up, man. Maybe it was all a misunderstanding. Don't come near me. Get back. Get back. Jeez, Monica. So vulgar as usual. Seriously. You hit a girl. How uncool. But... Monica loves how uncool and worthless you are, Nagisa. Monica loves you most in the whole wide world. This is the most uncomfortable thing in this game. My skin is crawling. Okay, this wouldn't be as good if the previous time this type of content came up with Kotoko yeah. was was dealt with in a more serious way. Because then it would be like doing the same thing twice. Yeah. Also, she, if she did this while Kotoko was still around... It would be jeopardizing the control she has over Kotoko, don't you think? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Skin crawl! <laughs> God. If you want Monica to have high expectations of you, you gotta listen to Monica's requests, okay? For Monica's sake. Kill all the adults. Risk your life for Monica. Isn't that nice, Nagisa? You should really go and have a chat with Komaru and Toko, who treated you like a human. Yeah. Jeez. Well, that was frickin' gross. Well, I'm gonna go throw up now, and not just because I'm sick. Hey, Toko? What? We've been walking around the sewer so long. Do you think it'll be okay? What do you mean? Like, is this smell gonna stick to me? <laughs> Starting to worry I'll never get it off. It might happen. It's true. Uh, sorry. You don't want me to talk about smells, do you? <laughs> no, it's just rude. <laughs> oh, this darkness is killing me. I'm sure you're fine with hey! being a sewer girl. You, Toko! Now that's an insult I haven't heard before. You're just as much of a sewer girl as Komaru is. <laughs> Ugh, I've had enough.